If you like to fly big kites at the beach, then sand anchors are probably just what you need. A sand anchor is a square of material, usually ripstop nylon, with two strong straps sewn across diagonally, extending beyond the corners and sewn into loops at each end. Now, when you first start, you want to lay out the anchor on the beach with the straps underneath. Very important that. Hold the anchor down with a handful of sand at each corner so it doesn't blow away. And then you get on to the next part of the task, which is digging a hole. As you dig the hole, throw the sand onto the anchor and I usually find about 10 spadefuls of sand are enough to make a hole big enough to hold the anchor and to give enough weight to the anchor to hold down a pretty sizable kite. When you finish that, you then gather the straps together and using those loops at the end, you clip them together with a strong, emphasize strong carabiner of the type used by climbers. Drag the anchor into the hole, pull the straps to get them all fairly equal, and you're ready to tie on your kite. So having launched the kite, hold on to it tightly, make a big loop in the line, finger and thumb in there, over to make a lark's head knot. Clip that into the carabiner and it pulls tight. There you are. Repeat the knot because one is not always sufficient. Two of them will always be enough. Make sure you tighten up that second knot. And there it is. Done. So sand anchors are really a very, very useful device. There's the one we've just done, sitting in its hole and very securely holding up something. What is it? Well, there we are. A 50-foot octopus. And it's doing the job very well. So there we go. Simple as that.